welcome back to Andrina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to save a PDF document using Silhouette Studio. Prior to this video, I already made a tutorial showing you guys how to make yard signs. And that is a bigger document that you have to save as a PDF file so you can send to print somewhere else. A lot of people I do know use Basic Edition or Designer Edition, Designer Plus, and they don't have the option to save as a PDF file. Now, I personally have Business Edition, which I highly recommend that you have all the tools but for those that are just trying the software out and only have basic and designer you don't have the option to save it as a PDF file here today I'll be showing you how to do so so don't get discouraged now I do say in uh, I do say this in other videos you don't need a cutting machine to use this software you can just use it to design you print um, regular on your printing paper on your printer and then you cut by hand or you can send it um, your PDF files to a customer if you're selling digital files or you can send somewhere else for a printing to a printing shop to print so all that information I have given it to you guys but today's video is purposely on how to save as a PDF file first thing that you have to do is when you open up your silhouette studio you have to set up your paper size uh, usually when you open silhouette studio it's already on 12 by 12 but if you're using a standard printer you are not printing 12 by 12 you are printing 8 by 11 and this is the number one thing that people do get confused so when you go to your page setup is the first icon on your right it is the paper it looks like a paper and that is a called page setup you're gonna click on the first icon and right here you're gonna have machine you're gonna have the machine selected your cutting mat and the media size media size is where you put the paper that you're going to be using for example if you're doing invitations or party um decorations, party favorites, party treats, custom wrappers, and stuff like that, you're usually printing on a regular standard 8x11 paper. So on media size, you have to put 8x11. So it's regular letter 8.5x11, and now that your paper size is going to change. Now, the reason why mine is white is because right here where it says transparency, I have mine on zero. I know a lot of people like using it transparent so they're able to see the grid. I like to see my paper so I have it on zero. So number one thing is please change your media size to whatever size you are using, which is probably 8 by 11. After you set your paper size to 8 by 11, if you have business edition, all you have to do is go to file, go to save as, save to hard drive, and this is only for business edition. Right here where it says save as type, you have the um, options of portable document format, that means it's a PDF. You can save it as a PDF right here. You also have the option for PNG, SVG, JPEG, Silhouette Studio, etc. Okay, and then you will save it and it automatically saves as a PDF. For those that have uh, Basic Edition, Designer Edition, and Designer Plus, I'm going to go back to that option. So I'm going to put a View in um, Standard Edition. That is the Basic Edition. And I'm going to show you how to save it there. So right now, as you can see, I am on Designer Edition. I mean, Basic Edition. So if I go to File and go to Save As, go to Save to Hard Drive, and I go where save as type, I don't have the option for PDF. Now what you guys need to do is you need to go to Google and you need to look up pdfcreator.com. This is a free website. Now make sure that you're getting the one with the flame. It says PDF Forge. You're just going to go to Google and you can either look PDF Creator. When you click on it, it has to be the PDF Forge with the flame. And then you're going to download this for free. Okay, go through the installation process and download it for free. You're also going to download Adobe Acrobat Reader. And it's also free. So make sure you download this. This is also free. You're going to download the Acrobat Reader, not the Pro, the, the Pro you have to pay. You could just download the free version. So a lot of you guys might already have this one on your computer. So again, it's Adobe Acrobat Reader, the free version, and also PDF Creator or PDF Forge, and it's also free. Make sure you're downloading the correct ones. After you have all this installed to your computer, you're going to go to Silhouette, depending on whatever document you have here saved. 
um, you're, now you're not going to go to file, save as. You're going to go to your printer icon. So on your printer icon, you're going to click on it. And right here, you have the option to scroll. And it's going to say PDF Creator. That is what you just um, downloaded, PDF Creator. So when you're in the printer, I, printer um, okay, let me. So again, printer icon, is, you're going to select the PDF creator here from the printer options, right? And then you're going to click on print. When you click on print, it's going to be saving. So you got to wait a little bit. Once it saves, you're going to get this pop-up. Here, you're going to name your document. And then you're going to um, place it, the folder that you want to save it at. And then you're going to click on save. And automatically, you have this saved to a PDF. Now, you can send this to your local printer um, printing shop. You can send this uh, PDF to your um, customer. And the reason why you have to save it as a PDF if you're printing somewhere else is because a lot of people don't have the same software that you are using and you don't want none of your images or fonts and stuff like that to, uh, to change. And you want it to stay the exact size that you made your designs. Okay. So let's say you're doing a five by seven invitation. You will save it as a PDF. Once you send it to your customer or you send it to your local printing shop, it's going to say stay as a five by seven. And I hope that um, this is helping you guys out a little bit. Now, another thing is, if you are doing bigger than 8 by 11 print, let's say you are doing a yard sign or you're doing a backdrop, you have to change your, again, your page setup to the size that you are going to be using. Again, in your page setup, that is your paper icon on your right. Here, if you're printing bigger than 12 by 12, where it says machine, just click on none. On your cutting mat, put it on none. And your media size, or your media size, you're going to put in the measurements that you're going to be using. Let's say we're doing a yard sign standard size, it's 18 by 24. So my width will be 24, and I'm going to click on enter. And then my height is going to be 18 inches. If you haven't seen the yard sign video, go ahead and watch it. But this is the same um, concept if you're doing, let's say, a backdrop. Make sure that you are changing the size of your canvas to the size that you're going to be doing, okay? So right now, I have a canvas of width 28 and height 18 so i'm just going to put something here really quick so you can see that it's actually going to save exactly how the the size that i'm making i'm just going to put a square here i'm going to color it pink for now and i'm going to type the word let's say andrina this is just for tutorial purposes so you can see it's actually going to save this big. I'm going to expand it really, really big. Right now you see even the name is at 21 inches. I'm going to make it bigger. My name right now is at 22 inches. So you can see when I, when I open up the PDF that you're going to see is this big, okay? So another thing to know is... When you're designing in silhouette, you automatically sometimes have cut lines, which they'll be red. Like if I color my name right now white, well, I'm going to color transparent. You can see that you see red lines. You need to make sure that you change those cut lines to no color because you don't want it to be saved like that um, when you go print, okay? So right now I'm going to click. I'm going to leave it on white for now so you can see. My cut lines are on red. So I'm going to go to the outline color, which is under the paint fill. Right here is the paint palette. Under the paint palette on your right, there's three lines. That is your line style. Right here in the color option and line style, I'm going to put no color. And the no color option is like a little uh, square with like cross lines going around. That is the no color. So now I don't have um, the cut lines not showing. So that's that's right now all saved. Let's say I'm going to save this as a PDF file because let's say I want a yard sign to look like this. I'm going to go again to my printer. I'm going to click on the printer icon. I'm going to click on PDF Creator. But remember, 
it's automatically saved as an 8 by 11 and I don't want that. I want to save this document as uh, 18 by 24. So while I'm in PDF Creator and I click on it, right here it's going to say Preferences. I'm going to click on Preferences. I'm going to click on Advanced. And right here where it says Paper Size, I'm going to drop down. It's going to say Postscript Custom Paper uh, Page Size. I'm going to click on that. And then it says right here, edit custom page size. I'm going to click on that. My width, I'm going to put it at 24. My height as 18. I'm going to click on OK. OK. And OK. And print. Let it save. Okay, I can say that, you know, just be patient and wait. You might think that it's not going to pop up, but you do have to wait for this pop-up um, screen of the PDF creator. You might have to wait a couple seconds, even, you know, 30 to 60 seconds till you wait for this. From here, you're going again to name your document. I'm going to name it Andrina just because I am going to save this one so you can see. You're going to save it to the folder that you want, and you're going to click on Save. Okay, once you click on save, you're going to, let me zoom this page a little bit under here so you can see the full thing. So right here, this is how it's going to look. You see it, it's the, you can see the entire thing and this is already saved as an 18 by 24. It's already saved. You can also open it up with Adobe um, Acrobat Reader and you can see it from here. But from here, you just have to email it to the customer like I said you will go to your regular email um or you know go into your email you're gonna put in your customer's email you and then send them the PDF file or if you have staples or office max or Walmart's whatever wherever you're printing you're gonna also email this to them or if you have a USB stick just save the PDF file into USB stick and then you are ready to print this wherever you want same thing if you're just using the standard 8 by 11 paper and let's say you don't have a printer at home it's going to be the same cost as concept but now number one thing is that you need to make sure that you are saving the correct media size that is where everyone messes up no matter what you're printing you need to make sure that the media size is correct on your page setup and then when you go save it also as a pdf that you are setting it up as the correct uh, media size as well <clears throat> excuse me now if you have business edition you don't have to go through this entire process now again i hope this quick video helps you out i don't think it was quick but i i like to go into details and you know try to answer as many questions as i can I hope this video will help you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload any other videos. If you don't follow me yet on Facebook and Instagram, it is Andrina's Creations. Also, I do have a Facebook crafting group. It is called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. Feel free to go ahead and join over there and post all your beautiful work. I would love to see. And also, I do go live at least once a week over there so you can get to interact with me a little bit more and um you can ask me any questions and stuff like that again so i hope everyone's having a blessed day and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye